Hello, today you guys are going to learn how to change every icon on your Mac. That includes your icons for applications, your finder icon, and your trash icon. This video is made for Leopard and Snow Leopard. Yes, it does work on Snow Leopard. So, um, this is how you do it. First of all, download all the links in my description. Those links are just for um, icon sets. One of them is Safari, which is like this. Another one is for Finder. Let me show you what it looks like each one. So basically, Apple logo is this. It's a bunch of Apple logos. Safari of colors is this. Finder colors is this. Metal trash is this. And then Lumini, or Lumini, I'll show you guys what that is. You guys will be using this for your icon set. So, first thing you want to do is you want to open up your program called Light Icon. After you've installed it and downloaded it, um, it's, it should be inside your application folder if you've installed it. So go to your applications. Light Icon. It's right here. This is what it looks like when you have no folders that are like this. So, um, I mean, no icons that, are, are, that aren't changed yet. So what you want to do is you want to go to the folder that has this inside it, the Lumini, Lumina by Joey Vincent. Go to that folder and start off on general because that would be the easiest. Start off with the first one, clipping. As you can see, none of these icons are inside this section of general. So try finding it. It should be inside others. So go ahead and move this. This is how you um, change the icon. You just drag it and drop it wherever you want it to be. Um, you just go ahead and do this with all the other icons too. There's a couple things I might want to tell you guys. Inside folders, the group and users are switched off, so you may want to switch those. And also, there's no generic folder inside the folders section. It's inside general section. So you want to get this generic folder inside the folder section and then drag it over here, just like that. Um, I like leaving the home as it is because it's just a home icon. There's no folder for it. There is a folder for home. See, I like it better with the house. So after you changed whatever icons you want to change, I'll just open up the one I've saved. Don't worry about this little thing over here. This is just what it says. You guys aren't going to have that. Um, so this is what mine looks like after I've um, applied all the icons. Um, as you can see over here, there's no iDisk public inside your set of icons over here. There's they will, you, won't, you won't find one. There's only iDisk. This, I made this one. So what you want to do to make iDisk public, is first of all, get your iDisk and right click it, click it, get info, and then you want to go to folders, or gen, actually no, you want to go to general. You want to drag this public out and drag it to the desktop. Right, click on it. Go to get info. Actually, no. You just want to open this one up. And then you want to copy it. For Leopard, you have to close sidebar. And then it's push command C. That's not how it works with Snow Leopard. Snow Leopard, you have to actually grab it and push command C or edit copy. And then after you do that, um, you want to push new from clipboard and then go to tools adjust color and then go to saturation and put it all the way to the bottom and then go ahead and X this out click on this for leopard click on this click command C for small leopard pick up the whole thing copy and then over here you can see there's the, you don't actually, you can't copy this yet, so you have to copy this one. So you go ahead and copy the iDisk, close the window, 
Go back to preview, remove from clipboard. So now you have two. Go ahead and copy this one again. Copy, paste, oops. Oh, close sidebar, paste it. Make it a little smaller. And there you go. You have your icon. So all you have to do now is just push, just grab all of it again. Push Command C or Edit Copy. And go ahead and close this window. Don't save it unless you want to save it. Close this. Thanks. Go ahead and trash. And then, as you can see, all I have to do now is make a new folder. And then push Command I or Get Info. And click on this little icon over here and push Command V or Paste. And there you go, this is your icon. You don't rename it to Edis Public, and then you'll have your icon for that, which I have mine. As you can see, I changed it over here. So after you have all your folders inside there and all your icons changed, um, um, after you have all your icons changed, which is including the Finder and the Trash ones, I didn't use, I didn't use the icons for Finder and Trash that are in the set because I like the ones that I put on the download instead. Like this one, I don't like this one, this one, and that one, and the trash. I'd rather have these ones. It looks a little cooler, I think. So after you have all these icons set, go ahead and close this window. Click Apply Changes. Type in your password. And click Relaunch Finder. All of your icons will probably not be changed. So what you want to do before this, well after what I'm going to show you is you want to go ahead and log out and log back in. I'm not going to do that right now. What I want to do first is show you guys how to change Finder completely. So what you want to do is you want to go back to Finder, go to Macintosh HD. See, as you can see, some of my folders have been changed, not all of them. Go to System, Library, Core Services. And this is not going to be like this. This will be like that. <coughs> so it's going to be like this in the beginning. One second. Just don't see what I'm doing right now. Okay, so you're going to go to Core Services, and then go to Finder. You're going to go right-click, Get Info. And as you can see, there's the Finder icon over here. So, what you want to do is you want to go to extra stuff or wherever you have your icon set. Icons, and then Finder Colors. Open Finder. And go to this one, because I like that one. And you push Command I, or get info. Copy this. Right, what I did is I clicked on this. See, I push Tab, so if you click on it, push Command C, then it'll copy it. Click on this one. See now, if you push paste, this is only this will only happen for Snow Leopard. On Leopard, you can just go ahead and paste it. But on Snow Leopard, um, if you try pasting it, it won't work because you have to unlock it first. So click on the lock button, type in your password, change this from read only to read and write, and then try changing it, and it should work. Go ahead and close both windows, and I'm going ahead. I'm going to go to relaunch finder one more time, and I'm going to log out. This is the first half of my video. Second half, I'll teach you guys how to change um, just the icons for Safari or iCal or something like that. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys how to change it for Safari, which is the same exact thing as all the other icons. So, um, stay tuned. Next video, I'm going to log out right now. So.